it's great to see another excellent two-stroke enduro in the market. While Gas Gas have made superb trials bikes forever, reviews of their earlier two-stroke enduro models consistently said they were heavy, underpowered and had mediocre suspension. Financial troubles almost killed off the brand a few years ago, but they are back with a revamped 2018 range, which is reputedly lighter, more powerful, and finally, with great suspension, those brilliant Kayaba forks and rear shock from Japan. Like Beta, they have FMF exhaust standard, and all models come standard with a kickstart. Great for guys who really miss this on other European brands. There are three models, the 300EC base model with all the road gear. The XC is the cross country racer with slightly firmer suspension and an engine slightly retuned for competition. And then if bling is your thing, there's the GP model with floating front disc, gripper seat, recluse clutch cover, anodized triple clamp, rental bars, quick release front axle, the list goes on and on. So starting with the 300EC, what's it like? First, the suspension, beautiful. Incredibly supple over small bumps, but soaked up the jumps and big hits with ease. It makes me wonder why European brands keep stuffing around with European suspension. The past two years, I know Beta have dialed in the Sark suspension, very close to the standard set by Kayaba, but I reckon all the Europeans could have saved a lot of messing around years ago by opting for Kayaba. I never rode the older heavy gas gas model, but at a reported 105 kilograms, they are getting close to the industry standard. It certainly feels light, very stable at speed and the flared side panels make it easy to grip the bike with your legs. And if you sit a lot, you'll like the very soft seat. Power delivery is extremely linear, with almost no power band evident, at least with the stock power valve setting. At first I wondered if I was actually on a 250, because I kept stalling the bike in technical terrain and needing to keep the revs up on hill climbs. But as the speed picked up, I found that gentle power was a pile of fun. I rarely ride my Beta Double R 300 at higher revs because it scares the shit out of me. But with the gas gas, I was happily giving it handfuls of very predictable throttle. And the gas gas is no slouch. There's a reported 55 horsepower now on tap. It really sings along when you hit the gas. Gas. Great to see a very light hydraulic clutch matched with a slick gearbox and nice wide ratios. Then over to the XC model, the cross country racer. There's meant to be more mid-range power with a slightly different pipe. Personally, I couldn't really pick this out. The Kayaba suspension is certainly set up firmer on the XC. Still very plush, but I think more aggressive riders would appreciate getting a bit more feel of the terrain back through the wheels with the XC model. So where does the gas gas fit into the two-stroke market? First, it's very competitively priced, at least here in Australia. It's around the same as Beta, but given you get the Kickstarter standard, it's effectively $400 or so cheaper. Then, if you are very finicky about your suspension, the Kayaba forks and shocks are a definite plus. There's a good chance you'll save a lot of money by avoiding expensive suspension tuning. The gentle power characteristics would make it a near perfect bike for anyone getting into two strokes for the first time. 
But if you do like the playful, revvy nature of 250s, then for experienced riders, this is a 300. You can ride like a 250 and not scare the bejesus out of yourself. Now, personally, I found the lack of grunt made it a bit harder in technical terrain or tough, slow climbs. But it just means needing to rev and slip the clutch more. The seat height, on par with other brands, so short-legged riders may find it's a stretch to reach the ground. The Beta could suit better in that respect. Having said that, all these European two-stroke models are brilliant nowadays. Top riders are winning top Enduros on Shercos, Beaters, KDMs and Gas Gas two-strokes. There are slight differences between the brands, but I doubt you could go wrong with any of them. It's great to see Gas Gas offering another high quality alternative that is priced substantially below KTM, Sherco and Husqvarna. A big thanks to Mansfield Marine and Motorcycles for letting me abuse their Gas Gas models and remember to watch Euro Enduro's vid about common mods and known issues with the Gas Gas models.